hello guys welcome back welcome back again to my youtube channel so here i want to be showing you guys this boom and crash strategy and how it works and how i managed to take this trade okay so you can clearly see now that uh, one of the position is actually running at uh, a 300 and something dollars let me just show you guys okay one of the position is actually running at the 338 dollars so our tp is around a uh, 470 something yeah so that's where our tp is so soon we're going to be closing out okay so i'm going to be giving you guys the hack to actually uh, learn to trade like this all right so but you can actually use the smaller time frame like a five minute for scalping so now we're just going to break down this trade okay so here we have the market you can clearly see that the market is what in an uptrend okay so the market is what in an uptrend we have a low all right let me just change the color of this properties um color black all right and then we'll click on done okay we have a low we have a high okay and then we have a low again all right and then we have a high and then we have a pullback pullback which is creating a higher low and then we have a low again so without all that you can clearly see that this trend is what an uptrend the market is what headed in what an uptrend okay you can just clearly see that anybody can actually see that the market is what in an uptrend so and uh, with, the thing is with this strategy it helps you to actually get what your entries so we have an uptrend so what happened that's a high okay this is another wave for me okay so it's gonna go up for a long while before finally um finally retracing so um let me just go ahead and delete everything so then we have defined the trend so now you come here you zoom in you can see that you can clearly see that this level here the market has actually broken out of this um this high this previous high here so you can clearly see that the market has actually broken out of that this area okay so this high the market has broken out of that area and the market has broken out of that area and then what happened to have a retest okay on the smaller time frame like the one hour all right we have what a retest so let me just go ahead and adjust this okay we have a retest and then if you go to the 30 minutes you can clearly see my confirmation candles all right see my confirmation candles all right so even if you look you can see this other block here you can see this other block here you can clearly see that other block there all right let me just go ahead and change the color of that um what color should i put it purple yeah so you can see the other block how i marked it okay so what happened you have your confirmation candle you have your confirmation candle which is this one on the 30 minutes and even if you go to the 15 minutes time frame farm you still see the same candle okay let's go to the 15 minutes on the 15 minutes you can clearly see where is that yeah on the 15 minutes you can see the confirmation candle there all right so we waited for the market to sp um, spike okay on the five minutes we entered upon the crossover of what the moving average on the one minute time frame guys we entered that's where we entered i and my team we entered this trade okay so this was our entry so this was our entry on the one minute time frame the market spiked to the buy zone okay we have a crossover of the Ichimoku on the buy zone. Okay, we have a crossover. We entered, guys. That actually gave us a safe entry. So um, right here we are holding, and even my VIP members we took this trade. Okay, so we took this trade. You saw the breakdown. So even when you see, when you are able to make the analysis, you can be able to use this strategy to like trade okay so even you can even use the one minute time frame you have a spike to the downside you know that the trend is to the upside guys you have a spike to the downside you enter your buys you know you know it's going up it's going up it spikes to the downside 
enter your bias upon the crossover of the earth ichimoku it spikes to the downside you enter okay you en you enter it's as simple as that guys it's not as simple as that see you enter you enter your bias so this is a very simple strategy anybody can actually use it guys so you see know that it's not going to be perfect okay it's not always going to be perfect but just obey the rules use smaller position size to gain confidence okay so that even if it spikes against you um you're not going to be scared and remember i told you guys in my last video that for you to be able to grow your account you have to use you don't have to deposit the whole capital you, you, at the back end of your the reef, uh, you have you have your main capital there then you deposit the change like how much you want to risk if you have a hundred dollars, you put the ten dollars, risk it all, guys. Even if a spike happens, you're not gonna blow your account. You after that you see another setup, you you fund again and trade, guys. So here we have a spike to the downside, we have a moving average crossover. Oh, sorry, the Chimoku crossover. You take your buys, guys. Take 10 candles, 20 candles, you're out to the market farm. So now let's look at another example. Uh let's look at the boom one thousand index, okay. That's where we're going to be ending. For the boom 1000, you try to identify the trend. You're going to see that this trend is to the upside. So in this particular case, what do you want to do? You want to actually be scalping. Okay. Um, if you want to sell, you see, see the sales, the sales just comes, uh, it comes at, at its own wheel. Okay. So now let's try to define why that boom 1000 is selling. Okay. All right, for the way boom 1000 is looking with this candle here with this daily candle i can tell you guys that boom 1000 is going to sell for some time okay boom 1000 is actually going to sell for some time all right so you can clearly see there that candle that candle shows it's going to sell for some time all right it shows it shows more like a, a retest okay we already have a breakout we already have a retest so uh, for now you should look for sales on boom 1000 so that's 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 it that's it guys so um for boom 1000 me i won't take any sales till i get confirmation because now if you look at this if you look at this now if you draw your trend line okay if you draw your trend line from here let me just go to the higher time frame, like the one hour, then draw the trend line so that you see. So this um this right here is actually a false breakout of that trend line. This right here is a false breakout. So you see what's happening here. The market is just bounced out from the moving uh, uh, the trend line. Okay, just bounced off and if you check the 30 minutes you see that candlestick that actually indicate that so i want to be participating in the boom 1000 but this strategy works okay let's try the boom 500 okay um this guy is still in an uptrend farm i think yeah it's still in an uptrend so i want to advise you to actually uh, sell this okay using this one minute strategy i won't advise i won't advise okay if you want to do it guys you can only do it taking 10 candles yeah taking 10 candles all right you don't go more than that just take 10 candles you're out okay in that particular instance what i mean is the market gets to here and then you enter upon the crossover of the moving average your goal should just be 10 candles fam. 10 candles 10 candles all right 10 candles because uh it's gonna mess you up so your goal should be 10 candles the market gets here look at look at this now you enter you just take what 10 candles it happens again you take 10 candles so that's what i advise you guys to do other than that um i, I don't think i advise you to trip the trip market that's actually training to the upside using this strategy because you you're gonna keep losing without knowing why you're losing and then you're gonna think uh, the market is against you no 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 it's because you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong try to identify the trend scalp 10 candles no matter what scalp 10 candles because you don't you are not you know, so, um guys 
please if you are not following us on the telegram channel and if you are not following us on our youtube channel please uh, hit the like button subscribe okay so that it will encourage us to do more and more videos like this so now let me show you the settings for this particular strategy for the settings we have the chimoku uh 10 clans and 9 king johnson uh, 36 second span b 52 and then for the rest of these other parameters the king johnson the chuku span all right you reduce the pixel to uh, one all right and then put them on white it's only the 10 consent that you need and you put that one on black okay the color of your bag uh, if the color of your background is um, white for the king johnson just put it white if it's black put it there uh, black and then if the color of your background is black for the 10 cancer put it uh, white so for me the color of my background is uh, black, uh, white so i put it black so when i'm done you just click on done and then now the next thing indicator is a relative strength index we have a period one apply to close for the levels we have the 85 and the 15 and then the star four pixel color black okay click on done the next one we have the next indicator we have is the ichimoku for the ichimoku for the indicator we do we have the 10 cancer 9 king johnson 16 second span b 52 and then you just repeat exactly the same thing all right so this is it please hit the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on the telegram channel